Hi, hello. This is Femi Bijoy from Max Ninja. Today we can deal with question number 7 of the exercise, exercise 7.2. This problem is little bit interesting for you. I will read the question once. In a squared sheet, draw two triangles of equal areas such that the two triangles are congruent. Again one more question is there. So for that again we should take one more squared sheet and we should show the two triangles of equal area and those two triangles are not congruent. For that we can first discuss part 1. Okay. After that I will read the I will write the question once again. The two triangles are congruent. For that I am going to take a squared sheet. See, this is a square. Here the length is 18 cm. You can count. Here it is also 18 cm. This two 18 cm and this side 18 cm. Why? Because it is a square. First I am going to construct two triangles in this square. And after that, I will find area of each and I will show these two triangles are congruent. That's our step. So for that, for constructing, see, by drawing a diagonal like this, I will get two triangles. I am going to name A. B, C, D. Now you can see triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, C. First our aim is to show that these two triangles. First find the area of these two triangles. This is the first triangle and this is the second triangle. Do you remember what is the formula for finding the area of a triangle? We had studied it earlier. You remember, half the base into height. So, for the first triangle, area of the first triangle, area of first triangle equal to half the base instead of base. Half the base B into H. Here, for the first triangle, what is the base? See, BC is the base and its value is 18 cm. So, I can write down half into 18 into. What is the value of H? H means height of the triangle. See, AB is the height of first triangle. And it is also 18 cm. So, half cut these two. Nine into 18 equal to 162 Unit is not centimeter because it is area. So, centimeter square. Then, we are going to find out the area of the second triangle. Area of second triangle. Equal to same formula. What is the formula? Half the base into height. Again, half. What is base here? See, if you are keeping the triangle like this, you can take DC as base. So, half into DC. That is 18 cm and height is AD. So, that is again 18 cm 
so cutting 9 into 80 equal to 162 cm square now what is our conclusion now we got two triangles of equal area now next what is our aim we should show that these two triangles are congruent how can we show we had studied four criterion for proving the congruency of triangles by using any one from that we can show the congruency see here they have given all the sides so my aim is to show the congruency by using sss congruence criteria for that i am going to take our aim is triangle abc is congruent to i am going to show triangle abc is congruent to triangle adc a d c for that i am checking is ab is equal to ad my aim is to show these two triangles are congruent for that i am checking ab is ab is congruent to is ab is equal to a ab is 18 cm ad is 18 cm so i am writing here ab is equal to ad what is the reason it's given then bc is bc is equal to dc see bc and dc both are 18 cm so bc equal to definitely i can write down bc equal to dc why it's given is ac equal to ac see ac equal to ac why it's a common side of both the triangles ac equal to ac so reason is common side so i can write down triangle abc is congruent to triangle adc what is the reason which criteria we used here sss criteria so we proved triangle abc equal to triangle adc now we got two triangles of equal areas such that these two triangles are congruent 